Microdosing Studies to help you make a confident decision in early drug development. Worldwide, thousands of potentially new drugs are thoroughly tested, and it takes many years before a selection of them is approved to enter the market. Recent estimates indicate that billions of euros are spent worldwide on drug development. To protect patients from harmful side effects, regulatory authorities have established an extensive system of tests before new drugs are approved, including substantial animal testing. What if there were a way to test drugs earlier in human beings, thereby decreasing animal testing? What if we could do such a test with just one drop of human blood? And what if we could obtain results with only a few micrograms of the drug? Today, these types of studies can be done at TNO with microdosing. So, what is microdosing? Microdosing is a technique we use at TNO for studying pharmacokinetics through the administration of doses so low that they do not cause effects on the human body, but high enough to obtain pharmacokinetic data with the help of our ultra-sensitive equipment. To give you an example of how low such a dose is, to study the pharmacokinetics of new drugs, we need less than the amount equal to a single grain of salt. How does it work in detail? First, we start with incorporating a label in the drug we want to test. An extremely low dose of the labeled drug is then prepared and administered to a volunteer, where it will be absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and finally excreted. If we now take regular blood samples, we can monitor exactly what happens with TNO's newest ultra-sensitive AMS. We can study precisely what happens with the drug in the human body. TNO microdosing studies give our clients exactly the data they require for making a confident decision. And because TNO manages the complete study and covers the whole workflow, we can optimize the process in a way that saves time for our clients. The major advantages? Microdosing has a potentially significant impact on drug development worldwide. It's about making the right choices by selecting candidate drugs with the best pharmacokinetic profile. Microdosing helps create better drugs because we study how they behave in humans. And we can do all that at an earlier phase in the drug development process. A more targeted drug development process is more sustainable because it saves animal lives. It is more efficient which means that clients save precious time and money.